Kate's Brittany and we're here at Disney Springs. Uh, Characters in Flight is going. I don't know if you can see it or it used to be Characters in Flight. Um, but we're here. We're just going to do a little shopping, kind of see what's new for August. Hopefully hit Gideon's and just kind of see uh, what new stuff they have here at Disney Springs. So let's do it. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Now let's do it. We're going to try to hit Gideon's first because first thing in the morning, either there's going to be a huge line or there's going to be like a little bit of a line. So it's definitely worth a shot. I think the flavor this month is key lime something, and I'm not a huge fan of it, but Blaine might try it. But if not, we're gonna just get some cookies because it's always good. And I'm hoping to get some peanut butter cold brew because I've heard that's amazing. So if anything, I'll show you guys the cookie for the month, even if we don't get it, because they definitely have it on display. So it'll be good. We are also here like right at not it's 9.52, so technically some stuff isn't open yet. Is this the Gideon's line? Oh god. Oh god. I told you it was either gonna be busy or not so busy. Because everybody tries to hit Gideon's in the morning. <laughs> yeah, this is the line. Which means it's not a virtual queue, it's a line. So as you can see, the line for Gideon's is actually quite, it's not as long as I've seen but it's pretty long. <laughs> I think maybe we'll wait until they open and then at least they'll get some people through. Gideon's line, we're just trying not to wait in it. Um, <laughs> it's a little bit too long. I think if it was just at the stanchions, I probably would have stayed and waited. But like even the Lego store has a line. <laughs> um, <laughs> And stuff opens in like three minutes, so I guess maybe we'll try back to Gideon's on the way out, but that darn line is just so long. Plus there's a Gideon's location and it kind of on our way back to our house, so if all those fails, we could always stop there, so. But it's so funny watching. I mean, I guess if you're here and this is all you have to do, sure. But yeah, there's a nice line at the Lego store. The lagoon. I'm hoping to get into the world of Disney with less people. So I think that is our goal. We shall see. We shall see. All right, we're gonna hit, the stores are finally open. We're gonna hit the market co-op first and kind of see what's new in here. And hopefully with less people, which is nice. Orange bird, my friend. So if you don't know what this is, market co-op has just a bunch of different little stores in it. So you have a tech store, the animal store. So it has all the cute little animal, um, accessories you can get. Trendy is actually through here. I was gonna look at the dress shop to see what's new. This one's really cute though. I would wear that. That's adorable. And they still have the main street one right here, Electrical Parade, which I actually really love that dress, but I love the main street electrical parade, so that makes sense. We have the 50th dress. Oh, the new Princess Dooney and Burks. So cute. Very cute. How much are the Dooney and Burks? Mm, for the big guy, it looks like $2.98. And then the little crossbody backpack is $2.68. But I like the princess print, it's very cute. And then I feel like I haven't seen this one before. It kind of looks like Aurora. It is Aurora. How much is the Aurora dress? $1.28. 
What's the back? Just a regular squared off back. It's got the Ratatouille Dooney and Burke as well. Ooh, it looks like they have more Electrical Parade merch. This is cute. They have like a little split shirt, a fan, a light up sweater. How cool is that? Could you even wash that though? This is cute. It lights up. Could you even wash it though? Maybe you take the battery part out. It's like, but the lights? You could wash the lights? Yeah. Probably have to hang it dry, right? Yeah. But like, look at how cute that is. It's like, for 50th merch for the parade, I want that. That's cool. Or, I do like the dress. The dress is more expensive. But yeah, they even have like a button down now. This is actually so cute. Dang, good job, Disney. Some magnets down here. Are these leggings? <laughs> cute. Cute. How much is the shirt? $59.99. $59.99. It is really cute, though. I love Main, or Main Street Electrical Parade, so... I'm tempted, but I don't need it. Alright, and it looks like Wonderground is over here, which has pictures and paintings and all that. I still think the Miss Marvel dress is super pretty. Um, yeah, Wonderground Gallery. It's just a bunch of pictures and stuff. Um, what's over here? I guess we can go look in there. The dress shop used to be back here. Oh, these are so cute! Very cute. You're looking for art. Right here. Some really cool stuff. This music is so loud right now. Cute. And then you have some of the home stores, home goods stuff. Like this set of bowls is really cute that I kind of want, but I'll wait. My birthday's coming up, so I'm trying not to buy anything. There's some, oh, since the stitch line is right here, it's cute. The Winnie the Pooh stuff, which is adorable. It's the cutest. And then the vault stuff. I don't know if they have anything new in the vault. We can look. Oh yeah, they do have new stuff. This is new. That's actually really cute. It is. Only 49, that's actually not bad. Dang, that's really cute. Oh, these like jean jogger pant things are really cute. 49, those are really cute. This shirt is really cute too. Only 36, and then I really like this tank top for 29. It's so simple and so cute. And then they have um, a skirt for the 15th anniversary. And then it looks like they have this crop top for the 15th anniversary, some 10th anniversary stuff. And some of this stuff was in the outlets that we saw on our last trip. So I literally think this shirt was in the outlet for like half off, which is hilarious. Um, they also still have the map bucket hat, which I would have bought in, but I think it's like 50 bucks. Yeah, $45. <laughs> for a bucket hat, which is kind of much, but yeah, I think that's all that's new in here for the vault collection. So let's head over to World of Disney. It's such a pretty morning. It's really not that hot. Like if you're here and you want to hit like shopping at Disney Springs, come right in the world. Oh, Stitch is spitting. Uh-oh. He's spitting today. Avoid the spit. It's so weird. All right, heading into World of Disney. Ooh. That AC feels good. All right. Let's see. <clears throat> Still plenty of Grogu stuff. Is this newer? 
I feel like the purple of this is new-ish. But I've never seen these in person. But these are really cool, like the bright purple. They even have the spirit jerseys. It's very pretty. And they have the pink ones. I feel like that purple's new. And then they have the bright pink ones that match, very similar. And they have the bright pink spirit jerseys. And the ears. Which, the ears are all $34.99, so. But yeah, they brought the bright pink and the bright purple collection out. Which I know some of them were on Shop Disney as well. Because I did see them. But they are very new. Do, 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 do. All right, is there anything new in the home section? Some cool mugs over here. I don't really know if any of these are new, but I feel like I don't look at mugs because we don't need any more mugs. But these are really cool. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. This is a mug? How would you... I mean, if you love Hercules, it's actually super cute. $22.99. I just feel like it'd be hard to drink out of. <laughs> but it is cute. Very cool, very cool. Very cute ones. Do, 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 do. Oh, they have Cogsworth and Lumiere. Very cool. And Cogsworth is $80. So I'm guessing Lumiere is very similarly priced, sadly. <laughs> Let's see, what else can I see in here that's new? They still have the backpack like I have. Just good, because I think they're really cute, but I thought maybe they'd sell out. They have not sold out, so if you still want a castle backpack, they still have them here at World of Disney, which I think is great. I've seen them around the park too, so it doesn't have to just be here, but. It's very cool. I like them a lot. I love my backpack. I've secretly always wanted these slippers. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, <laughs> I think they're so cute. Um, I'm also waiting for them to bring out their fall stuff, like Halloween stuff, just because that is happening soon here. Because Mickey's Not So Scary starts like next week, which is kind of insane. But yeah, so I have a feeling they're gonna be making room for all of their fall Halloween stuff soon. So, we will see, we will see. And they also, it was this brand of puzzle that we got at the outlet. So if you're looking for some puzzles, go to the outlet. They had some really good ones there. I'm gonna take a quick walk through the 50th stuff and see if they have anything new. Oh, these look, I've never seen these, these are cool. These like little windbreaker jackets. Yeah, it's like a little windbreaker. It says 50th on the back and it is $64.99. Which isn't like the worst. I'm not even gonna lie. I still really want one of these guys. These are cute. 20 bucks. And it stamps your hand in soap that looks like a Mickey. I also kind of really like the Fanny packs too, 30 bucks though. <laughs> uh, let's see, anything else that is new? Um, I don't think that, I've seen the quilted jackets, but I haven't figured out how much the quilted jackets are. Let me see. $89.99, which it's a pretty hefty jacket, so it's not that surprising. But I think everything else in here is pretty the same. Just look at that castle. <laughs> I think it's the same though. I don't think there's anything else new that I can see. I mean, there probably is something that I'm just not recognizing as new. <laughs> what? The cookbook? Cookbook. Blyden wanted me to show you the cookbook and then I saw chocolate, so can't be too mad at that. I don't know why he wanted me to show you the cookbook. <laughs> because he's a dork. Um, these look kind of new. They're like little uh, snow globes of the castle. Yeah. 
And then they have, just like the ears I wore the other night, they have the 50th anniversary version that they have, like, I don't know if you can see, but it's a castle with the 50th emblem. And I will, and they're 32.86. I will report that they are very heavy on your head. Um, I'm very glad I paid only $4.99 for the pair I got from the outlet because they are very, they just press your head together a little too much. Um, oh, look, they have the It's a Small World lounge flies from the attractions collection. Um, let's see, anything over here? They have uh, still have a bunch of Lightyear merch, which I think is cool. Cute little kid stuff, so cute. All right, I don't think there's anything else that's really new here. Cool, we'll uh, go to the next store. Okay, and the Disney tip is if you're looking to buy cheaper Disney branded shirts, Uniqlo usually has some actually really cool ones at like a really good price. So let's go in here and check them out. Plus, you know, clothes, just like a really cool store. Yeah, here we go. So we have some right here. And these are only $19.99 or $19.90. Like, I don't think you can really, like, 101 Dalmatians one, Mickey ones, Mickey Topiary one. Oh, $14.90 for the Mickey Topiary ones. Like, I don't think you could get. They even have like kids shirts. Yeah, there's a lot over here. Even some peanut stuff. And they have uh, some Spider-Man shirts. I think these are all the same price. 14, oh yeah, these are cheaper. Dang, yeah, Doctor Strange stuff. So like I said, check out Uniqlo. They usually have, and they have a thing, I think you can design your own shirt too, which is really cool. So, definitely worth to check out. Oh yeah, look at the Disney posters right in front of me. You can literally do any of those Disney posters on a shirt, which is really cool. So yeah, if you're looking for, it's not Disney World branded, but it is Disney. So check out Uniqlo, it's pretty cool. All right, here's a look at the Gideon's menu for August. Yeah, the month limited edition cookie is Key Lime Chocolate Chip. Yay! Yay! All right, oh, it's so dark. Oh, it feels so good in here. We're in. I think we waited about mm, half hour. Hmm? I'm just looking at the cool stuff. It's so quiet in here. So cool. My sister would love this. Oh. AC feels great. <laughs> All right, so we got the key lime pie cookie, the coffee cake, their little truffles, um, the chocolate banana bread, and the orange pecan chocolate. And then we got some cakes, which look, they do look amazing. Definitely don't think we're gonna get cake today, but we're gonna get some cookies and some cold brew, and then I think we're gonna get one of the, truff the truffles. So, yay! And then we have peanut butter crunch, cookies and cream, original chocolate, pistachio toffee, and then the triple chocolate. Just got to the Gideon's, it took us about, I'd say a half hour in the line. Met some really nice, this really nice lady and some really nice ladies behind us, but um, I got the peanut butter cold brew. 
it's like a very light hint of peanut butter. I don't know if that's how it usually is, but I actually really like it because it's not so like sickening sweet. Um, but I really like this. We got like a bunch of cookies and then Blaine got the, there's like a limited edition or like a, they just got it like a truffle. So Blaine got the truffle. So I don't know if he's, are you gonna eat it right now or are you gonna try to wait? Okay, he's gonna try it right now. It is um, key lime flavor, they said. So, and Blaine, you got, what coffee did you get? He got the orange mocha one. How do you like it? Pretty good? That's very orange. Is it very orange? Very, very Try mine. Is it very peanut butter to you? It's like a, like a hint of peanut butter. But it's, I like the hint of peanut butter. He said his orange one is very orange. So if you like orange, get the orange one. But the peanut butter one, because peanut butter sometimes is so sweet. Whoa, birds. Um, I like the peanut butter one. But he's going to try his key lime uh, tart, or not tart, truffle. And so we'll see how he likes it. All right, so this is what the truffle looks like. It's got like green splatters on top because it's key lime. So, all right, go ahead and try it. Ooh, the inside of that though. Cross section. Well, Thoughts? It's like a key lime cheesecake. It's like a key lime cheesecake? That's pretty good though, right? Ooh. I'd be trying it, but I don't like it's key very lime. lime. Very limey. Mm -hmm. Would you get it again? Yeah, it was good. Yeah, okay. Good job, Gideons. We're gonna try the other cookies, obviously in our giant bag, uh, back at home because we're trying to get back for Chewy and it's just getting kind of hot. So we'll see you at home, but we're gonna hit D style first and then we're gonna head home. Bloop, bloop. Ooh, thank you. Thank you. These are cool. Oh, look at that. That's so cute. Oh, is that adorable? Oh, cool. Look at the new jasmine ears. Those are actually so cute. $49.99 for the jasmine ears. Those are really pretty. I really like these little overalls. The pink track jacket. Oh, this is a cute fanny pack. Dang. They do have a teacup photo op in here. They have the new, the Mickey pretzel stuff. Cute like all over print PJs. A Mickey jersey. Let's see, what else? What else? More of the Aladdin, like a Raja shirt. That's cute. Mm -mm. Mm. The vault collection stuff. Is that a shirt or a dress? You think it's a shirt or a dress? I feel like if you got a big enough size, it could be a dress. How much is this shirt? 36, six, 36 dollars It's actually super cute, like all over print. Which, it's pretty long though, so maybe. It's very cute though, I like it. Main Street crop top, which is actually really cute. Princess stuff. Cute. I like the color of these pants. It's a cool spirit jersey. Very cool. Yeah, a few new things. I think a lot of this princess gear is new too. Because kind of all the princesses all in one. Beauty is found within. Very cool. All right. I think we're good to go. These style though, they definitely have some different different things, but I like them. Like this dress is really fun. I really like that vault. That vault t-shirt though was really cool. Yeah. Alright. We're gonna head home and then when we get there, we will try the Gideon's cookies that we got. We got a bunch. So uh, next time you see me, we'll be at home. Okay, we're back home. Uh, we got our nice little box of cookies for her. 
We got four different kinds of cookies. So I got the peanut butter crunch and oh gosh, what other one did I get? I guess I need to look at the receipt. Peanut butter crunch and oh, the cookies and cream cookie. That's what I got. And then Blaine got the coffee cake cookie, which is only available in the mornings while they have supply. While supplies last. And then he got the key lime um, cookie that is the monthly, the cookie of the month. Um, so let's just try a few of these. I like this one. This one, ooh, this one does look really good. The cookies and cream cookie. Ooh, ooh. Okay, let me try it. No, Chewy, you can't have this. Sorry, buddy. Hmm. That's really good. I love Oreos. So, mmm. It's very good. Basically, instead of chocolate chips on top, it's an Oreo cookie. Like, crushed up Oreo cookies on top. So, it makes it just, like, a little less sweet than, like, the chocolate cookie ones. So, if you love, love Oreos and want something just a little less sweet cookies and cream that's really good and then I think this one is the peanut butter crunch cookie let's show it to you guys yeah peanut butter crunch cookie all right let's try this guy mm. oh mmm 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 Mm-hmm. I like the peanut butter crunch cookie. I love peanut butter. Hence peanut butter cold, cold brew. I like that a lot. It, this one also has the salt on top. So it really balances out like the sweet flavor really well. And so one of the things I like about Gideon's is that like salt on top. It's really good. So yeah. 10 out of 10 for all both of these cookies. And then I've had the original one. Also, 10 out of 10 for, like, the regular chocolate chip one. Love that one. So let's see. Um, I won't try the key lime one that Blaine got because I don't like it. But I want to try the coffee cake one. And I'll have him try the key lime one. Ooh, this one. Ooh, this one. It's a thick boy. It's literally, like, coffee cake into a cookie, obviously. So you got like the cinnamon and everything. Dang. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. I like that. Very cinnamony. Very light. And to me that's also not very like super crazy sweet. Um, it's very cinnamony, so if you love cinnamon, like a cinnamon toast crunch kind of action, the coffee cake one is very good. Um, yeah, I like that one a lot. Okay, and this is the, the key lime pie one, which apparently has actual, like, pie crust in it, or pie dough in it, which is interesting. Hmm. See, I don't like it. Well, I don't like key lime. If you like key lime, you'll like it. I don't like key lime, so I don't like this cookie. But it has a great key lime flavor if you love key lime. So if you're a key lime fan, I feel like you'll like it. If you're not, don't give the cookie. <laughs> but all of these are very good for what they are. Obviously, I don't like key lime. But if you love key lime, this one has like a nice solid key lime flavor for sure. But yeah. Gideon's gotta love it. Okay, that concludes our day or our morning at Disney Springs. Um, getting Gideon's. Uh, I had a great time just kind of looking what's new. My birthday's coming up, so I was kind of looking at, you know, present ideas. But there's a lot of new stuff, and fall, Halloween time, is gonna hit Magic Kingdom soon. So I have a feeling their merch is gonna come out very soon. So I cannot wait to see all the new stuff for Halloween season. And thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you real soon.